you love the Lord on this evening. Would you open your mouth and give God the loudest Shabbat you can? Oh, the Shabbat the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, give God the loudest Shabbat. There is something about sound that takes the atmosphere. Hallelujah. In that room, the first thing you heard was a sound. Woo! That seems like a mighty rushing wind. Hallelujah. We have the Lord in the honor of your sound. Lord, have mercy. Look at your name and name it. The rock pit over your soul. Come on, keep those hands going for Pastor Lucy as we give God praise for the woman of God. Hallelujah. And we celebrate what God is doing in the kingdom through you. Have those hands. Hallelujah. I thank God for strong leaders in this day and time. You better hear what I'm saying. I thank God for strong This pandemic has pulled out the grown folks from the young folks. And I know of pastors who just folded up everything and walked away. Who did not have the fortitude to stand through this storm that we're going through. But you better bless God for a leader who is standing through the storm and bringing you through. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, clap your hands. Give my praise. We certainly honor the Lord for being here, and I thank God uh, for her allowing me to come back every year. I told her, I told her, I said, she keep on letting me come back back into practice. After a while, I'm not getting right. I appreciate it. Amen. But I also celebrate with you because I know there's another owner of your heart. She's a new grandmother. You're right here. You know what I mean Good to be in the house, but there's a free praise, and you ain't got to go swear all bound up. Act like you don't know God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6. I thank you all that you're grown accustomed that I'm a teacher slash preacher, so let's go to school for a little while and get to go to church. Amen. Ephesians is a very familiar passage of scripture, and God bless the Bazaar with another tangible job. Amen. She's the train off the track. I'm going to keep the train on the track. Hold it off the track. Let the Lord have his way. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Throw the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12 is what I'm after. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness located in high places. I want to talk this evening from this simple thought, the fight is on. Look at you, look at you, 
said, the fight is on. The fight is on. Father, we pray that as they go into your word, Father, we pray that you'll anoint lips to clear the words of life shall fall from them. Be the teacher for this hour. Be the preacher through human flesh. And Father, at the end of this message, we want to give you praise and glory for the result that you produce in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody on the way to your seat and say, the fight is on. The fight is on. Amen. really uh, the Lord has allowed to burden my heart and that is the fact that through this pandemic I've seen ministries become aggressive in their assignment then I've seen some who came became so relaxed that they closed their doors and some who just walked completely away from the ministry there's still some people not having church at all inside outside online not doing nothing it is as if they were looking for a reason to shut down. Which means that's evidence that prior to the pandemic, there wasn't much warfare going on in that church. Because when you are constantly fighting spiritual warfare, you're ready when the war break out. You're ready when the pandemic comes. And the trouble that comes does not shut you down. Amen. Is a spiritual warfare for those of y'all taking notes because although Satan moves in many, moved many times through people, notice what I said, although he moved many times through people, he can only be defeated through spiritual fighting. Amen. I need you to understand that he moves through people, and for people that's not focused, we'll wind up fighting people instead of fighting in the spirit. Oh, yeah. One of the things that the church has been guilty of is fighting. Not fighting the spiritual warfare, but trying to fight a spiritual battle, Carl Ways. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you are not my enemy. You are not my enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody in the room say, you are not my enemy. You are not my enemy. I don't think the devil is trying to use you. Pray for you, but at the end of the day, 
whatever the devil is trying to do with you, through you, and in you, you got to fight. Okay, somebody say, you got to fight. Find me, my brother, and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And look what it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against
This is born out of Daniel chapter 10. You remember Daniel was seeking word from God through prayer and fasting. Uh, you got to know that one of the strongest times you need to have your spiritual antenna up is when you're in consecration. Daniel was in consecration. He was in prayer and he was fasting. After three weeks, the angel finally appeared to him and the angel explained that he had already been sent with an answer, but he had been delayed in getting to Daniel with God's message because he had an encounter with the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Lord have mercy. He, he does not he does not refer to an earthly prince. He said the prince of the kingdom of Persia. Not an earthly prince because, listen to me now, no ordinary man could have withstand a heavenly messenger. He's speaking of a demonic prince. Remember, the devil is prince of what? Prince of the air. And so the angel was trying to explain Daniel. Listen to me now. I got held up in the air. nations are listening to me and cities and over in order to carry out the devil's plans hallelujah the special evil events that has been assigned to cause trouble in certain areas of the world so we discover that our spiritual warfare it actually embraces more than our individual lives we are fighting somebody how we are fighting we are fighting for the welfare of our homes our community and our nation. Lord have mercy. The enemy is thoroughly organized and Satan moves a name with evil design. Satan is strategic. But we have been equipped to fight for it. Somebody ought to fight for it. I'm going to show you something here. The second thing we're told that our warfare is against power. Principality is power. Write that down there. The next one is powers. And the Greek word translated power is exousia. Demons are forced to yield to the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. I need you to understand that 
said, work the name, baby, work the name. The scripture revealed that demons not only have authority, but they have power. Don't you just be told to a demon that got power? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They have power. In Luke 10 and 19, we read that the power of the enemy, the word for power in the Greek word is dunamis. The English word dino, where we get dynamite, comes from this word. Yet the sap will not intimidate the Christian warrior because we have the promise of God's word that we can have better power, dunamis power. Lord have mercy. We have greater than dynamite power than that of the enemy. That's what it is. But ye shall receive power. And Mark chapter 16 and 17, we're told that the 
confusion is foolish to go out against demons without both authority and power. Lord, have mercy. Who you tell somebody say, neighbor, I got both. So we don't have to wait for God to come to our rescue. What you say, I said, we're not to wait for God to come to our rescue. No, it's not time to pray that God will provide power and authority. He is already, I need somebody to holler already.
Give it. 
to know that when the fire of fight, we can shake it on my car. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory for the authority and the power. We acknowledge that the fight is on and the devil will not stop fighting. And because time is winding up, he's fighting even the heart. But Father, thank you for victory. He 
to see a harvest, a new harvest that's coming up from an old seed to let you know that you have never sown in vain. So I'm going to holler, new harvest! New harvest! I'm going to holler, new harvest! From an old seed! God said, I'm remembering when you had it and you did it. Thank you. 